Hello again. This is Alan Davis with Alan Davis Insurance Agency. And it's that time of year again for our risk management seminars. And with me is Randy Barkley with Rain and Hail. Uh, and, you know, we, we, there's some changes within the, uh, within the multi feral crop insurance space, not a lot. And we kind of just want to bring you up to date on what's available. So, uh, Randy, uh, you want to kind of let's talk about the first thing that, that, uh, that uh, is a change in the multi feral crop insurance. Well, good morning, Alan. And first of all, let me say that it's a pleasure to be with you this morning. And, and uh, I'm pleased to have an opportunity to uh, spend a little time visiting with your audience about uh, some of the new changes that are taking place in the federal crop insurance program for uh, this 2021 crop year. So the first one you're talking about, and one of those that will have the most enthusiasm around it this year, is uh, by acronym, we'll characterize it as ECO, but that's the new enhanced coverage option. So what this is designed to do is to provide, uh, it's an area-based program designed to provide a, additional coverage for the portion of the deductible that that traditional crop insurance product doesn't normally cover. So uh, know that this is designed to be an endorsement, not a standalone policy. It's designed to complement the underlying policy. So it doesn't stand on its own. So we'll, we'll call the underlying policy revenue protection since most producers across Ohio are electing that, that form of coverage for their corn and soybeans. It's designed to be simple. It's essentially the supplemental coverage option for those who might have a, a, uh, an understanding about how that works. Uh, that was first introduced uh, in 2015. But the enhanced coverage option is simply a higher band of coverage than that in the supplemental. It's area-based, meaning that it triggers at the county level, not based on the producer's own experience. And it, and it provides a higher layer on top of the underlying, such as, again, that revenue protection and the coverage. It, the election choices are, 90, it, it triggers at 95 or 90%. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Well, you know, Randy, we're, we're talking about this option. What crops are eligible? So there are 31 different crops. This is available to endorse for the 2021 crop year. It was, uh, so it was approved by the Federal Crop Insurance Corporation in the month of August and will be available for those that we see on screen, more notably corn and soybeans uh, for producers, again, across Ohio this year where we're primarily focused on row crops. But 31 different crops where supplemental coverage option is available, East, the enhanced coverage option is also generally available. Yeah. And so when we talk about that, what is ECO? It, 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 can you explain a little more detail? Thank you, Matt. So the enhanced coverage option is designed to follow the underlying policy. Uh, the underlying policy, in this case, we would call the common crop insurance policy. And the choices within that include yield protection, revenue protection, which is the most or more common, or revenue protection harvest price exclusion. So again, designed to endorse those and follow that underlying coverage. Note that the coverage in terms of a dollar amount of insurance is actually based on the producer's own experience or the underlying coverage. So the, it will look at the yield experience or the approved yield of the underlying database. But what's important to understand is that it doesn't trigger based on their own experience or yield. Determining whether it pays will trigger at the county level. There are some other area-based plans again, with which we have experience in this part of the country, uh, such as area risk protection or margin protection, or again, that supplemental coverage option, all are area-based or county-level plans. So determining loss will require that we have a final harvest price and a final area county yield so that we may determine the final area revenue. So again, we have to know what the final numbers are, right? So we have to know, again, understand what the, the end, the final yield and price is. Uh, RMA, because it's based on county yields, RMA publishes those yields in June 6th, on June 16th, on or before June 16th of the year that follows harvest. So for those who elect this endorsement to help protect or add some an added layer of revenue protection, we'll know the final results on June 16th of 2022. Yeah, so how does it actually work? I mean, you know, we, we need to kind of have an idea Give us some examples of, of, of how it's going to work, Randy. You bet. So for those who are viewing the, the uh, slide, you'll see that we have a couple of examples here. On the left side of the chart, you'll see that this is a 95% enhanced coverage option trigger. On the right, it's a 90%. So there are choices when they elect this band of coverage. 
So we'll focus primarily on the left side of the screen just for example purposes. But no, again, the trigger level is an electable option with two choices, 95 and 90%. So those are among the choices that producers will have to, uh, will have to make. So this graphic illustrates how the coverage effectively stacks. Again, 95% on the right, or on the left rather, and 90 on the right. And so the underline illustrated by the blue part of the graph, so we're going to call this revenue protection for, uh, for our purposes today, uh, it's been elected by this producer at 75%. And so under with traditional crop insurance or with our traditional election, the deductible then would be the part above that, right? So we, with a 75% coverage level, we would have a 25% deductible. Well, along comes the supplemental coverage option illustrated by the yellow portion of the bar. The way supplemental coverage works is that it has a fixed, well, it too has an area trigger. It has a fixed band, a fixed band of coverage. The top of that band is 86%, whereby the bottom of the band goes down to meet or greet the underlying plan. So in this case, because we have a 75% level underlying policy, we have an 11% band of coverage. The enhanced coverage option is designed to sit up on top of that. The bottom of the band in this case is 86%, whereby the top then again is an electable option of either 90 or 95. So as know that the supplemental coverage option and enhanced coverage option can be stacked together, but they're not required to be. Your growers have a choice to elect one, the other, or both, or none at all, of course. Yeah, so we kind of give us some description about the, the nuts and bolts of it, but why ETO? Well, so why particularly this year is we have the benefit of uh, we've had some real positive momentum in, in prices more recently, right? Uh, December corn, December 21, December 2021 uh, contract on the uh, CME is currently trading at about 450, where soybeans are reaching about that $12 threshold. So here's an opportunity to protect some additional revenue as a benefit of those prices. So here it simply created just another illustration. And again, in this case, we're illustrating that we have a producer who has an elected an 80% plan of coverage. And that 80%, again, when, when we're electing 80%, we'll call it again revenue protection is illustrated by this uh, the, the year of corn being filled in with the dark blue color up to about 80%. That leaves us a 20% gap then at the top, again, with traditional insurance. So I'm going to advance to the next. Uh, slide where we need to continue that illustration. So as a further illustrate, in this example, you'll see that again, we have our 80% revenue protection policy, if that's the example we're using, filled in by the dark blue color. And again, our example here is at 80%. What we've done is we've, in this illustration, illustrated by the lighter blue color, we've added the enhanced coverage option. So that, and we've, this producer has elected that 9% band, which means they've elected a 95% trigger. That leaves just a 5% remaining loss, uh, losses out of pocket, if you will, at the top or deductible. Then we have a 6% area represented by the, the gray band between the two blue collars. And so that would be between our 80% underlying or revenue protection plan of policy and then the new enhanced coverage option endorsement. That gap can be filled in either through electing an ARC County election for their farm program election or if they elect, were to elect uh, the price loss coverage as part of their uh, farm program election, that gives them an option of electing a supplemental coverage option to fill that gap. Well, you know, what's important to know about ECO? Well, it, great question because what's, it's important to know that this, again, is an endorsement to the underlying policy, and the election must be made by March 15th. So what's first important is talk to your rain and hail uh, crop insurance agent or the folks at uh, uh, the crop insurance experts at Allen Davis Insurance Agency. And they can help you to better understand, know that this presentation or this discussion was designed to be a higher level overview, and they can provide some additional perspective on the benefits. But most importantly, it must be elected and on the policy in order to benefit from it by March 15th. Because the enhanced coverage option is an endorsement to the underlying policy, you know that it must be with the same approved insurance provider, for example, if the underlying is with rain and hail, then the endorsement, of course, too, must be with rain and hail. And then there are choices. There are choices within the enhanced coverage option endorsement, but they also may elect either the supplemental coverage option or the enhanced coverage option, both or neither. 
what's uh, what might what cannot you so so it's it's a, it works on and um, uh, paired up with the multi pearl policy, but but there are some other coverages that you cannot carry when you're buying ETL. Yeah, that's true. So uh, some additional uh, points that are a benefit to know is do do know that it cannot be. Uh, cannot, there are some exclusions. It can't be purchased with margin protection, which became available a few years ago. That's an election that is made by September 30th, at least for corn and soybeans in our part of the world. So it can't be added to that or endorse that. It can't be added to area, any risk area risk protection plans. Again, all of those are area-based plans. For those who might be electing the CAT or the catastrophic endorsement, uh, there are uh, generally, there are a few, very few options or endorsements that are permitted to be added to that election. So this, uh, this cannot be used or paired up with that. And however, it may be if we are in an area where there are high risk rated areas, and if someone has elected that high risk alternate coverage endorsement, or we also call the high risk HRA, that it may be added to that policy. But if so, it must also be added to the underlying policy that are not high risk acres. So give me a, a brief synopsis why I want to buy ETO. Yeah, so while area-based, you're effectively adding more coverage to your existing policy, offering protection for shallower losses. There are benefits to layering an area-based program or what I'll characterize as a macro-level program with individual protection with area or county-based programs. They typically complement one another, providing coverage for shallow losses. Those who tend to outproduce yields of the county tend to benefit a bit more by programs like this. So again, where they tend to have consistently high yields and not be covered as well by shallow losses, such as uh, smaller price decline, especially may, ben- be, may benefit. Uh, there are also choices available. Not only, again, the trigger point, so again, it, it's important to continue to focus on the fact that it is triggered at the area level. The choices include 95 or 90% trigger level. But yet there's also uh, so something else that may not often be talked about is the uh, price percentage. The price percentage by default is 100%, but this is an adjustable ele- option for election. Maybe modified to something less. Uh, when you begin talking about coverage like this that is at a very high level protecting child losses, know that it may be perce- perceived as expensive because it certainly costs more to protect a shallow or low. So adjusting that coverage level or dollar percentage may be a way to, to help with the premium costs a little bit. What's most important is that you visit with your rain and hail insurance agent to discuss how this might impact the enhanced coverage option. And then finally, remember that you may elect either the enhanced coverage option, again, the supplemental coverage option, or both, or of course, neither at all. Well, you know, Randy, this, the, there's a lot of moving parts to this, really. So, uh, and everybody's situation is different. So, you know, what, what do we have uh, as far as tools to help the producer when they want to sit down and meet with us? You bet. So, there are a lot of moving parts to this. And, you know, we, we tend to be creatures who benefit more by seeing it, right? And I can tell you how it works, or someone can tell me how it works. But when you can show me, it's just easier to understand. So at Rain and Hail, uh, we would we would characterize ourselves as being a leading technology company, particularly when it comes to risk management tools. So your Rain and Hail agent has a simulation tool that allows allows them to model how the enhanced coverage option functions, how a shallow loss in price or decline in price or yield or a combination of the two will actually result in triggering a loss, and how that will complement the underlying policy. So simulation tool is a great, uh, great way, again, to see it. Talk to your rain and hail insurance agent for more details. Yeah, and, and so when we're doing, there's also a way we can, like, we want to see, we have different tools to, to help display that as well, right, Randy? Do that. So as part of our quoting utility, we've been able to quote this now for about a month. And your rain and hail insurance agent, when using what we, all, what we call our coverage analyzer tool, uh, it provides, uh, allows you to compare various coverage levels and scenarios. For example, how much coverage is effectively added by the supplemental coverage option, the enhanced coverage option, how those complement, again, the underlying policy at varying levels of coverage. It will show not only what the premium cost or it'll help illustrate that, 
but again, the amount of coverage for each of those endorsements so that one, so the producer can better understand exactly how many dollars of coverage are being conferred. So again, see your Rain and Hail insurance agent for more details and viewing those, uh, those options. Well, Randy, uh, uh, thanks for being with us today uh, uh, to, to talk about uh, one, of the, one of the options with that. Uh, if you have more questions and you want to learn more about enhanced coverage option, you know, give us a call or stop in one of our offices uh, and be sure to return back uh, for some more updates as it relates to risk management.